One of the things that we use a lot in our work when we're dealing with prostate issues, either benign prostatic hyperplasia or uh, prostate cancer, or even in a case where there's no actual uh, clinical condition, but maybe the PSI count is high, is something called Flor de Mashua. That's just the flower of, the ma of, of a plant here we call Mashua. The botanical name is Tropeolum tuberosum. You can look on the, uh, uh, on the Mashua page, the Flor de Mashua page. It's altcancer.com forward slash Mashua, M-A-S-H-U-A dot H-T-M. And uh, we talk about it, we talk about its history. This is an, a flower that's been around forever. We grow it here a lot. It grows abundantly in, the, uh, in our botanical biome, which is called tropical highlands. It hates cold, it hates heat, it likes to ha has to have a constant, fairly constant temperatures year round is what we have here. It was known about, goes back to the time of the Incans, the Incans were well familiar with Mashua and they knew what it did and knew, knew how to, uh, you know, knew its, knew its properties. Uh, I think the reason it's not more appreciated and used is because it also has a reputation, which it is, of being an, an, an aphrodisiac. This is uh, the, <laughs> to the point where it's reported that the Incan kings used to give this to their troops so they wouldn't think about their wives when they were out on the <laughs> when they were out on the march. So uh, it does have that property. You should at least be aware of that, although if you take a lot of it, you'll actually kind of have the reverse. It can actually act as an aphrodisiac. It's uh, very, very beneficial. Uh, I take it periodically myself. I just had a blood panel taken. I didn't ask for specifically, but somehow PSA got thrown in there. My PSA was 0 0.4, which is pretty low. So... Um, it's very be beneficial for both for uh, maintaining prostate health as well as if you if you actually have a condition, it's 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 very beneficial. The root is also taken here. We don't we don't sell it ourselves, but the the root of the plant, not just a tincture of the flower, but also the root. So the entire plant is actually beneficial for this purpose. But at least people should be aware of it. Again, I encourage you to go to the Ma the Florida Mashua page so that you could learn its uh, properties and indications, and uh, become better familiar with this plant if you want to know the, the benefits that it has for maintaining prostate health.